Alrighty, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for hour number three of uh, second week of Die Party Hollow Earth Expedition. And I believe we were just about to get flashbanged, or we were in the process of being uh, flashbanged. Well, yeah, like what I assume. Brain banged or something. Brain banged, incenses banged, Nazi banged. Like brain bang. Brain banged. Brain banged. Sounds cooler. Hey. Sounds like something you'd so, extra. To start with, Apollo. Yeah. You are, you know, down the hall to the left, sort of, and uh, you hear coming from the auction room a high pitched noise yeah, that that's... rattles the wood of the tea shop. That's why I'm going. All right. You start heading over there. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Meanwhile, back in the room uh, proper, uh, I need uh, everybody to, well, everybody, the two people who, uh, who are PCs who failed their willpower roll now need to make a body roll. Oh, uh, God. Why okay. do you su successfully just make me roll both things that suck? So is this double, double? again? Yep. Yes. Whenever you roll a base attribute, it, it does double. Whenever you make a base attribute check. Well, I fucking failed. <laughs> I got 50% again, motherfucker. Jesus, you have four body? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I used one of, my, I used one of the talent bonus talent things. Uh, was the, the toughness one. Yeah, so it's plus one body. Wow, wow that's that. pretty impressive. You come out of the days first, then. Um, Sweet. Uh, oh, although okay. not immediately. Um at first, your uh, vision is all, uh, you know, tin canny, you know, blah, blah, blah. that's what you're hearing um, through your ears, uh, sort of muffled speech and noises. You hear gunshots that are muffled. Um, and uh, you also hear, like, tables being flipped over as people, even in their stupor, um, yeah. resort to their base instincts. Benny, who is totally out of it, does flip your guys' table. Um, okay. And uh, several of you get down below it um, as gunshots start to be heard. Uh, you come back first, um, Arch, and what you see is, first of all, uh, Dr. Zhang sitting calmly in his throne, apparently totally unaffected, uh, looking mm -hmm. out at the chaos with a smirk on his, on his uh, lips. Mm -hmm. You see the Germans are uh, massacring the Hong Kong triads with automatic weapons fire. Um, okay. The woman in the dress is carrying some sort of strange sword, um, some rapier that uh, glows with a slight energy about it. You're not really sure. It's, like a it, br brain-melting, farting energy about it? It seems to vibrate, too. Um, Kinky. And it's very uh, uh, odd, of course. Um, you hear muffled, uh, some sort of muffled order shout uh, to one of the Germans who threw the gunfire while they're massacring the, the triads who are ca caught totally unaware with their table unflipped, um, just being uh, ventilated, so to speak. Mm -hmm. That's a good way. One of the young Germans uh, makes a, a move for the box in the center of the room. Okay. Uh, in the chaos. All right. So at what point can I do something? Am I, am I good now? Or do I have to wait a little bit for my Not body to kind of put itself back together? Um, you're just seeing this uh, first while you... Uh, okay. Like, you're still really dizzy. You could probably raise your gun and fire, but... It'd be a negative or something. Game. Like... Okay. The communication between your head and your hands right now is not particularly restored. Okay. Um, yeah. The, the, well, in, the boy, case, the younger German, who makes a reach for the box, uh, grabs at the box and tries to move away. But some mechanism on the box activates and suddenly opens. And there is a cloud of, of gray mist that suddenly fills the center of the room. 
Is it spreading or is it staying in the center? Did we lose Rick? I had some beeping, so maybe he got a call or something. I don't know. <sighs> Rekaj. Graham, you there? Yeah. Alright. Okay. So the uh the awesome. device was the device was so strong kill him. <laughs> and then the fog spreads to the rest of the room. I hold my breath using my advanced breathing techniques I learned yesterday while walking temple. around. Yeah. yeah, and in the Mayan temple of Shanghai. <laughs> and, uh, Apollo Apollo flies through the wall. Fists first. You do the Superman up. double fist through the wall. <laughs> yeah, I, so. I throw the German lady into the sun. <laughs> well, you got to say something uh, pithy first. Hello? Hello? Hey. Yeah, Rick, you back? When did I cut out? You right said, when I asked, I, after, what's when, the fog doing? Yeah. And oh. You, like, so. Hold on a sec. My Skype is breaking. I need to fix it. Okay. So, we shall continue to spit bullshit. Yeah. So, while he's doing the pithy conversation thing, I am a dual wielding shotgun in my left in my off. Can you hand. hear me? Yep. Yep, we got gotcha. you. Okay, so the uh the white mist is like a heavy fog. It slowly starts to pool in the center of the room around where the box was. Is it like dry ice okay. sort of thing? Kind of. Yeah. Um uh Arch, you have full control of your actions now. Rex, you've just moved into where Arch was, which is your vision is somewhat uh, your vision is good but your hearing is muffled, um, and you're still dizzy. You can see Zhang overlooking the entire chaos with a smile on his face. Um, and Apollo, uh, you can just reach the door at this point. Okay. Yeah, um, I say aloud. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm so much lighter right now, now that I'm taking a dump. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to duck behind the table, and I immediately want to put the lady with the sword down, because that sword, uh, first of all, we're in an enclosed space, and enclosed spaces and melee weapons are no bueno, no as bueno. I can recall. And secondly, fuck that bitch. She made my head feel all barfy. All right, so I want you to roll bitch. initiative. Okay. Do I roll um, here, or do I don't not roll? You can't act initiative. yet, Rex. Uh, but I you can roll initiative for when you can act. act so. Is it initiative every turn? Like, how does that work? No, it's permanent. It's permanent for a combat scenario. Okay, so basically when I enter the combat, I am, I can do okay. some stuff. Right, cool. Yeah. It'll determine your combat order once your senses have restored with your low body roll. Oh, motherfucker, I should have used step style step. points there. That would have been good. Oh, yeah, you should have. I mean, do I roll initiative? Oh. Yeah, you can roll yeah. Well, uh, you can roll initiative once you open the door and look inside and see that there's combat. All right. Um, what the hell? Huh. All right, this got out of my thing real quick. Here we go. All right. 5D2 carrot 2. Why do you call it carrot? Oh. That's a carrot. Wow. Okay. One success so. on your initiative roll. Okay. Yeah. Um, so well, you like this. Still a little feet. groggy. Still a little groggy. Apollo, yeah. do you um, open the door and check inside or what are you doing? Draw my gun. All right. Holding my pocket square over my mouth. Uh, I assume there's fog coming out from underneath the door. No, there isn't. Okay, well, I open the door, gun drawn. You see the chaos that I described earlier. The Germans are massacring, massacring the Hong Kong triads who are at the table, uh, not in front of the door, but at the other end of the room um, mm -hmm. from the door, uh, which is also where Dr. Zhang is seated above in his box. Um so those guys have been ventilated. The Germans are to your left, by the way. The Americans are to your right. Um, yep. And uh, you see that the Germans are opening fire. The, the girl's holding the sword. Um, there's a pool of mist in the middle. Mm -hmm. What happened to the, okay. the Nazi go boy who opened the box? Full initiative to me, for me, Apollo. Mm. Yeah. Dave, I'd say we want to get that box. The box has probably got a thingy to based on based on how the dude is smiling. But I would vote we we someone should probably plug that German kid uh, just to be on the safe side or start taking don't, out. Don't meta game too much, sword. Frankie. Don't meta too, oh. meta game too much. 
Okay, How long would it take me to construct a Molotov cocktail from my canteen, my grain alcohol, and my matches, and my pocket square? Um, what's the canteen made out of? Uh, glass. I decided just now. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually made out of nitroglycerin. Now, now, Toilet now, paper. Oh, very, fra very fragile glass, now that I mentioned <laughs> Graham, mm -hmm. most canteens are made out of some sort of metal. However, uh, you're right. There are wine bottles on yeah. various servers. Had wine bottles. Um, I don't think wine is a very good Molotov cocktail con concoction, though. No, no but I've got, I've got I've got really strong alcohol, though. Oh yeah, you did well, get that hundred. So you, so you have so to you pull one success out. Success initiative. Uh, the point is, the 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 lady is going first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She. And you are now, you can, everyone, all the PCs can see this now. Um, Rex, you're still sort of uh, out of it, but you can see fine. Yeah. Um, the German woman, raven-haired beauty, levels her rapier at the cloud of mist and clangs it against their upturned table. She whacks it. Wait, uh, okay, yeah. She right, whacks yeah. it against the up, upturned table. It starts vibrating, uh... And a visible shockwave in the air uh, emits from this rapier as she points. It blows the mist from the center of the room across from them onto the table where the Yakuza's are setting up their defense. Um, as the mist blows away, uh, a mummified uh, man still clutching the box is revealed. Uh, the Tama Tebako is open. Um, that is to say, each of the uh, six panels on it are slightly uh, removed from the frame. Uh, and it is now apparently empty of the mist. Uh, she then sends another one of her German lackeys over to claim it. Is he still standing and up? He, the mummified guy? The mummy? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, when the German gets there, he grabs the box and pulls it out of the dude's hands and he turns to dust. Oh, Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so who goes after, uh, what's your face? The and first the, person. The dude? To, uh, so actually, because of your low initiative rolls, Rex actually yeah. moves into able to act. All right. Um, <laughs> you want to see some initiative? I got some initiative for you. <laughs> you can roll initiative, but you won't go before Apollo, who now gets to go. Four successes. Right. You will go first on the next turn. Well, maybe the girl goes first. Mm -hmm. You don't know what Wait. she for initiative. Okay. So when when do I get to do anything? Last. You'll go <laughs> after Apollo. After Apollo, okay. Because yeah. you rolled one and Apollo rolled two. Yeah. yeah, I just got confused for a sec. Yep. Apollo is your action. Um. Okay. I will. You know, move, make my way over to the right towards the Americans. You uh -huh. know. Firing in the German direction. Yep. So you want to shoot? Yeah, I want to shoot and move. All right, you can do both of those things. Give me your shoot roll. It's not great. This is just covering fire. Firearms. Covering fire, okay. It, it is what it is. One. One success. You definitely Dang. miss everybody. You managed to pull the trigger, though, so there's that. <laughs> but what you do notice is the bullet you fire buries itself in the wood wall behind you, and after a brief moment, water starts pouring in from it. Uh, huh. Ooh, so, what happened hey. to the machine gun fire, then? There's a bunch of uh, holes underneath Dr. Zhang. The Hong Kong triads that they've just finished killing were sitting underneath Dr. Zhang, yeah. and there's a bunch of holes in the wall over there, but there isn't water pouring in. Because that's where the staircase was, right? Well, that's where Dr. Zhang's box is, so presumably there's more infrastructure over there. Um, right. Okay. All right. Uh, I will say to them, then, when I get there, I'll, you know, I'll duck behind the table or whatever. Uh-huh. Or I'll put, is the table knocked over? Yeah, yeah Benny, Balaclava Benny knocked the table over. Good, I'll try to get behind that, and I'll say, I'll say, I'll cover you, get to the door. The door you just came out of? Oh, yeah. Gotta get out of here. Um, Arch, it's your turn. 
I'm, I told you before, I'm going to plug the lady. She's the most dangerous one. If I can right, wound her, I'll fuck her. All right, so firearms. my firearms is 8, so I do a 8d2 carat 2. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I got a firearm skill of 5, and then a strength or a dexterity of 3. Crazy, man. I kind of just made him a combat type. Oh, fucking balls. <laughs> How many so, uh, right. style points do you have out of curiosity? One. You fire, you level a shotgun, uh, you level the barrel of the shotgun at the woman, you pull the trigger, boom! It fires off a cluster of bullets as it does. And uh, sl slug, actu slug, actually. Slug, actually. Yeah. It fires off a slug, and it almost looks like she knows you're shooting at her, and she does a little uh, puree, a little twirl, uh, mm -hmm. and it misses her completely and parries itself into the wall behind her, creating a much larger hole that starts to pour water. Um... After which she says, uh, Achtun, schnell! And everybody, uh, the Germans start to leave uh, quickly um, with the box in hand. They leave behind their trunk. Um, okay. I vote we try to plug the. All right, never mind. I'm no. All right, my turn's done, so. Yes, it now goes to the top of the turn order, uh, which is actually the woman first. But wasn't that what she just did since it's top of the turn order? She dodged you and said a thing. That's not an action. Oh, oh okay. Gotcha. Um, although her action is not uh, anything involving you guys, uh, she... Uh, you were playing musical. music this whole time. I had no idea. Yeah, man. I always play music. I should be more uh, aware of that. Yeah. Uh, she, as she's moving to leave the room, she just cuts down a couple of the Green Gang guards that were uh, guarding the door with her sword. Um, that's her action. Uh, the Nazis start pouring out. They're just in the doorway leaving as uh, as uh, Rex has his turn. What is the distance between safety and where I am right now? As in, like, safety. as in not going to drown. Doorway exit. Oh, you mean somewhere that's not below water? Yeah. You guys uh, are in a domed room that is at the end of a hallway. At the end of the hallway was a staircase, and that staircase led down below seawater. Okay, so oh. how, how far away to that staircase? Um, four move actions. Five move actions, maybe. Interesting. Okay. Um, for a person with a normal amount of move, um, yeah, might be a little bit more for you, but not much more. I mean, it's not a fucking sprint. Okay. Well, that's good. If they're just casually walking out. Um, well, I mean, they're hurrying out. Obviously, you know, they're running. They're shooting and running. Which one has the cube? Which which soldier has the cube? Can I see him? Yeah, one burly guy has it underneath his arm. Um, and he's going, and he's got a sidearm, he's got a Luger, uh, but right. he's mostly focused on getting the box out of here. I'm gonna shoot at the guy. Alright. And, All I, right. and I'm going to, and I am going to use, uh, combat aptitude, and I'm going to take, um, four points away from my defense, and put it into my combat. Now that's for the rest of the combat. No, that's for the rest of my turn. So once it goes back to my turn again, it resets. Uh, let me check that and make sure. Sure. It's called Combat Aptitude. It's on, uh... uh let me see. Let me see if I can find it for you. It is on... I'm on... Page... Uh, 63? Or 66 if you're using the, uh... Page tool. As a reflective actor in your character's turn, you may take up to minus four penalty on his defense rating at equal amount bonus to his attack rating or vice versa. You may not reduce either rating to zero in this manner, so you haven't reduced your defense to zero. No, it's five, so... Okay, these modifiers remain in effect until your character's next action when you may reallocate the dice once again. Okay, yes. All right, so... Uh, my combat is seven, so I'm going to... Um add four to that, so that is a total of eleven. Okay. And then I'm going to use two of my style points as well. To you add can another. only use one. Alright, then I'll use one. No, 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 I'll let you use more than one. 
All right, so I use two. So um, that brings you to a total of three style points left. Yeah, and um, so what's that? Is it two per one per day? Yes. Now I want to make something clear, Dave. Mm -hmm. You only ever do your weapon's amount of damage unless you're doing a called shot. Um, and what is the cold shot there? Now, a cold shot is you choose a location on his body that increases the difficulty of the shot, um, but then all of your successes become damage. All right, so over I... his defense. So every every success over his defense becomes damage that you deal. Okay. Um, um, can I aim for his head? Yes. Well, you have to aim for something vital for called shot to have that bonus. Yeah. Um, let me just get over to make sure that I have the right modifier for how much harder that makes it. Uh, ga uh, si Game of Siren says that you're a badass GM, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I... Okay, so what you suffer is a penalty to your attack roll equal to your opponent's full defense rating, but then all of your successes uh, inflict damage on the target. Um... So, uh, how many dice after all of those bonuses 15. do you have to roll on your attack? Fifteen. Holy Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. Um, so, you now only roll uh, 15 minus... Ah, fuck, small math really fucking gets... Okay, you roll seven dice. Okay. And that's... all of your successes are damage to him. That's that's a lot of taking up, but I'm gonna do it. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers, guys. Don't screw this up. So what's that? Three damage. You fire your. Uh, what was your pistol again? It's a PPK. You fire your PPK. The bullet whizzes out of the thing. He's just turning his head out of the room when it grazes along his jaw, tearing open his face. Uh, blood starts pouring down his neck. You hear some slurred German curse word, uh, and he turns um, as he's running. He's probably going to return fire while he runs backwards mm -hmm. on his turn. And obviously, like, I'm still behind com uh, co cover and that sort of stuff when I did this. So. Yes, you are yeah. behind your table, Yeah. which gives you uh, uh, plus two defense dice, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Um, so my defense is three in total. Yep. Uh Next person to act is actually Balaclava. Me. So just so everyone knows, I actually did one additional damage. So, For all of that. Yeah, um, but I wouldn't have hit him. Oh wait, um, I probably I might have. I, I had an extra like. I don't know. So wait, right up question: If you do a called shot, you disregard the weapon damage and you just do the dice damage. Yeah. If you're doing that. Yeah. So here's what happens. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So basically, what happens is. Um, your opponent's defense now completely is ignored. He doesn't roll his defense, but it did gotcha. remove all of those okay. dice. From your gotcha. So basically, your right. your opponent rolls a perfect defense rating in exchange for you dealing bonus damage. Okay. All right. All right. Now then, uh, Balaclava Benny. After you shoot, yeah, you know, he's oh, I'm not gonna let him have all the fun. He. Stands up over the table, reaches into his coat, and pulls out his two revolvers that he has. <laughs> Fucking Benny. And he starts firing both of them, which, uh... Unfortunately, I'm going to hide his stats from you guys by doing secret GM rolls. In case we want to kill Benny later, you mean? Yeah. In case you want to kill Benny later. <laughs> uh, let's, let's be honest. He does smell like a gym sock. So. <laughs> like soaked in marinara sauce. Oh, lovely. Such a great image. Balaclava Benny fires two rounds, one from each revolver. The first round uh, collides in one of the German's knees. In the back of his knee as he's running away. And he hits the ground, Ooh, uh, that's, obviously. That's painful. The second shot plows into the back of the German's head and his brains go flying out in front of him. This is the one he kneecapped? Yep. Okay. Did he get the guy with the box, or who was he going for? No, he got another guy who was actually in front of the guy with the box. 
Okay. I, 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 I basically say, good shot. <laughs> sort of like, uh, slyly. I, get, I give a grunt, but... So. It's Haddock's turn. He runs to the door frame uh, and leans out. You didn't notice him do this, but he now has a solid steel, polished uh, baseball bat in his hands. Okay. And he's leaning from the doorway of this room, looking down the hallway to have cover while trying to tail these Nazis. Uh, and now it's um, Apollo's turn. Uh, it's uh... Okay, so Haddock's in the doorway. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, the, you don't know his name, uh, but a big guy with a baseball bat has moved to the doorway. He's sort of, you know, using the doorway for cover, leaning out while there's a bunch of guns flying. I mean, gun, bullets, not guns. They're not throwing guns. Bullets are being shot Damn. back and forth. But these are the smart Germans. Balls. How heavy is the table? <laughs> you piece of shit! <laughs> Um, but the, nice. it's a, it's a big conference table. Each person has a big solid oaken conference table. <laughs> Take away our cover like that. You fucking awesome. They're running I mean, away. the Germans are already out in the hallway. This cover is yeah. now redundant. This, um, this table no longer provides you cover since they're no longer in the room. <clears throat> What the about fact the that you're um, in a room is now providing you cover? What about the other guys with Tommy guns and stuff? Do they get to have a shot? They're not recovering as fast as you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just throwaway NPCs. Yeah. Combat rounds are six seconds, so the difference between you guys and them recovering is not much at all. But they are nameless henchmen, so they just aren't as good at recovering from random whatever the hell uh, stunned you guys. Sure. Okay, well. If they're already out in the hallway, I might as well make my way to the doorway. With Haddock, that sort of thing? You're both leaning out and, and peeking? Yeah. All right, you can move. That's your move action. You can get there just fine. Uh, anything th Anything else? You want to take, take a shot for the hell of it? Or do Not you want to stay shot. behind I'll... full cover to be totally protected? It's an interesting question. Um, I will... Shoot randomly and down the hallway. All right, give me the roll. One. You, you definitely miss. shoot randomly. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Several Germans return fire. Ah. Fuck. All right. Um, only the uh, first Four. two successes is being shot at you, Apollo. Um, okay. The four is being shot at Haddock, and the two is being shot at another guy in the room who is nameless. So uh, when you shoot behind cover, do you lose one cover? You lose a lot of cover because if you're behind cover, you have total cover. That's like six dice. Mm -hmm. But if you're peeking out and shooting... You're at like partial cover, which is like only plus two dice. Okay, so then if if they were to like shoot at Apollo, then his total defense would be eight right now. With plus two, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Apollo, you have to roll for that two. We're not taking half anymore. Remember. Three. Yeah, you're safe. Although you would have had eight dice. Oh yeah, right. Oh. No, yeah, you have to roll for your. Yeah, no. Oh, that defense, makes yeah. total sense. Good Do enough. you have to roll defense twice if they get if you if two different people are shooting at you? Yes, and if too many attacks stack up on you, you start losing dice for defense because okay. you know to 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 simulate being overwhelmed. So you have to roll another eight die then? Is that right? Because two people shot no, at you. No, only only no, one of them at me. shot at him. Oh, okay. And he didn't roll the right amount of dice the first time anyway, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah, I'm just um, trying to get a grip of it here. So. Haddock also doesn't get shot. The dude inside the room does not get shot either. The bullets just sort of whiz down the hallway. Uh, it is now um, Archie's turn. All right. I'm doing a uh, 
running sprint, sliding on my knees into the doorway, and I'm gonna try to end up with my shoulder at one, sh- with my um, offhand shoulder on the on the, you know, on the line. So I'm kind of in cover, and I'm plugging the dude with the box with the shotgun. All right. Um, so I'm gonna say, uh, so you're trying just, to slide in position to attack. Um, I was gonna say move to move to cover on a side of the door and fire, but it's this side of the door is starting to get pretty crowded. The other side of the door, you would have to cross the door to get to how about how long is that how many feet well it just means you'd be exposed to getting shot can um, you open okay. the door and then take cover behind the door that's it the door the, they're gonna, the hallway yeah they're gonna know the second that door closes or opens that there's a dude on and the it, other it side of it this so. whole time otherwise the, yeah. all this chaos is just wide open um, sure, yeah um yeah I'll, I'll cross the other i'll cross the hallway all if right, I can do a fancy slide thing and still get, shoot, uh, I'll be fine. Shot at. The what was that? I'm gonna roll to see if you get shot at while you cross the doorway. Okay. Don't get killed. I'd prefer not to. High or low? Um, you I'm gonna it. guess. So. Yeah, you showed us three. Oh, never mind. GM roll. Not. I'm gonna read okay. you that roll, and then you're gonna ask. It's now been GM rolled, and now you have to say high or low. <laughs> high yes it is high this time uh, uh so that's good right got if you guess correctly you don't get shot okay uh, cool all right so you no one takes the opportunity to shoot you even as you cross pa- uh, by the open doorway um you are now in position you can fire uh the act of firing right. which makes it partial cover just to let you know it's fine by me uh, i want that i want that son bitch down so right. let me make sure I got a rating of is eight. He, is he like like lagging behind by any chance? No. No. He's been shot in the jaw. It doesn't really affect his capacity to run. He's actually not he's, even the first. His whole back. face. You said his whole face got blown open, sort of thing. So. No, I did not. It said it grazed his jaw, and he is now bleeding. It tore it tore his, his face open. Yes, where he got shot on the jaw. Oh, okay. Um, Balls. Well, I got another three successes. So. That is uh, probably not enough, but we are no longer taking half, so I have to roll regardless. Mm. And let me... Come on, come on, fuck up. Come on, fuck up. So, so shooting someone, like, in a critical place, they just automatically get their entire defense as as the total, right? Right, and then... The, the, then the rationale is the successes then become damaged. Yeah, no, that's so that makes perfect. You have sense, to yeah. greatly exceed their. Um, and I had I had all the opportunity in the world to greatly exceed that, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. God, if I had buckshot right now, I could have peppered all those fuckers. Yeah. Uh, he uh, he does. You miss. The slug whizzes past the entire group, goes left. Um, buries itself into the staircase at the end of the hallway, which then starts seeping water. Stop fucking killing us. <laughs> we'll be fine. If the one dude didn't run away, we can all, if the water gets high enough, we can just like swim up to his hole and get out. So. That is, if the wall doesn't catastrophically fail. Yeah. True. All right, Arch, that's your turn. Uh, yep. That means we go back to the top of the combat order with the German lady. They make it up the staircase. Okay. Um, or not not up to the staircase. They make it to the staircase on this turn. There are they pillars behind the hallway. One of them uh, sort of peels off and gets behind a, a pillar to do more consistent covering fire um, as they <clears throat> begin to ascend the staircase. Uh, and uh, it's the Baroness's turn, but she's not doing anything. Um, Ooh, she's royalty. Maybe. Uh, I'm just calling her Baroness because she's yeah. fucking the Baroness from... Uh, she's basically... She's actually a character from the book, but she's basically fucking Baroness from G.I. Joe. Uh, Damn. Oh. Okay. Uh, as far as, you know, long, black hair, beautiful German. Um, mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh top of the turn order is her. She's not going to do anything. That means it's Rex. Um, so I want to do... Uh, I want to look up at um, Dr. Jang. What's he doing? 
He's smiling. Um, as a matter of fact, the uh, white mist that consumed the Yakuza is, is dissipating, and they're all mummified uh, as who, well. Who else is left in the room? The uh, Russians are still alive, and they're just sort of recovering from the stun. They're starting to pull guns. Um, your group is still alive. Uh, and Dr. Zhang's green men, uh, green gang, uh, they are starting to pull guns as well. Uh, and recover. Okay, and everyone but else the, is dead. But the Yakuza and the Hong Kong triads have been killed. Alright, so the uh, our suitcase with money, is that in front of us? Uh-huh. Benny's got it. Oh, Benny's got it? Okay, what about the uh, the trunk that the that the Germans left behind? It's over there on their side of the room. Is that towards the door or away from the door? It's to the left and you're to the right. Okay. I'm gonna... Sure. Both on the left and right hand extreme sides of the room, respectively. Okay. Am I able to get to that? I uh, probably not, but you can. I mean, yeah, you're gonna cross past the the vision of the doorway, so you might get shot. Um. Mm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I will. Do, I will. I will do that, but I will also drop four from my attack and put it under my defense. Since it's your turn, yeah. sure. All right, so now you got big, hugely, muchly defense. Yeah, so nine even defense. If you get shot, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk across to the to the um, container and take a look inside of it. All right, uh, high or low? Uh, I'm gonna say high. It was low. You get shot at, but we now have to roll attack and defense. Okay. It's just one of the random German soldiers. Um, Fucking thing. I got five. Well, he can only tie, which means you you can't possibly get shot. Okay. Um. So, uh, bullet whizzes past your head. But I just you keep casually unharmed. walking across. <laughs> As your cane. Yeah. <laughs> casually hobbling. Yeah. Um. And all then... right, you can make it to the trunk within your turn and uh, open the trunk on your turn if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I'll open it up. Take a look inside. It's locked. I'll shoot it off. Well, actually, yeah, I'll shoot it off. Fuck it. Is it is it like a decent lock? Like what is it? It's a decent lock. You don't know that you'd necessarily be able to shoot it off like All a right, cartoon. Then I'll do a I'll do a lock picking then. Okay. Uh, larceny, so five. I'm gonna spend um, a style point on it as well. You're down to two style points. Well, you know, you're supposed to use them, right? So. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just making sure you're 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 keeping track. Yeah, that's fine. Four successes. Four successes. That will pick the lock. Cool. Click. Opens. Mm -hmm. The lock opens. Not the not the trunk yet. Yeah. I open the trunk. All right. You open the trunk. Uh, you just throw it open. Mm-hmm. You throw it open, and as you do, uh, you notice out of the corner of your eye that a cord uh, that was inside this trunk snaps as you do it. Uh, and what you see in the trunk is a bunch of gold interlaced with a bunch of explosives. Okay. And you hear ticking after you snap that cord from the trunk lid. Uh, I shut the lid. <laughs> They're still ticking. You use it. <laughs> Uh, it, okay, wires. so is there a way that I can defuse it? Like, I have... No, it looks like a bunch of things that are just, like... It's not, like, a complicated explosive device. It looks more like a bunch of, um... Oh, what are they called? You know, like, uh, landmines, but those other ones that Claymore. are claymores. It just looks like stuff like that. Um, that have been, like, a couple grenades. Like, it's not even much of an explosive. It's not like it's gonna level the city or anything. It's just a... All right. A trunk booby trap. Let me, let me do something here, um, since I have an investigation. Um, uh -huh. Real quick, let me just see what exactly investigation means. Uh, let's see. Uh, search. It does come under search. So, um, I want to do an investigation here to make sure that, like, does it have a direction? Like, is it is it is the explosion? Because you said it's like a claymore, right? So, it's a couple. It's a couple. Like it's a couple grenades, 
maybe a landmine and a claymore or two. Like it's just a couple of rigged explosives. It's not, it's, it'll blow up the room probably um, without even a roll. You, you'd imagine this entire room probably isn't safe. Mm. Uh, and But that's probably it. Like if you were outside of the room. All right. I'm going to uh, make an investigation because like ideally I'm going to get out of the room as well. Um, but what I want to know is, is the gold stamped and the contents of the box? Well, I guess mean? I don't really need to do that because I got um, photographs. You do things. have perfect memory, but I, I'm sort of confused by what you're asking. I want to, basically, I'm trying to get a lead to trust Oh, yeah, these. it was a bunch of Nazi gold. Okay. A bunch of swastikas on it. It literally has swastikas on it. Yes. Okay. They're the Nationalist Party of Germany. They're not even evil yet. They haven't invaded anybody. Okay, well, I mean, like, you had, like, the, the boxes before where it had a, a special type of symbol on it. I assumed that maybe the gold might have something as well, so... No, the gold just has swastikas. Okay. All right, anything in the chest? Like, maybe, like, the type of grenades or the type of bombs or the type of explosives or anything like that? It was all German military hardware. Okay. All right, so basically, I, I was looking for a lead, but I guess I can't... That doesn't happen. Um, I sort of, uh, I, I, basically, I, op I, so here's what happened. I open the door, the container, I hear it, and I look down, I'm like, fuck. I close the door, and I get up, and I go, ah, uh, mm, uh, you might want to leave. And then I start making my way towards the door. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that's my turn. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Benny's turn, and Haddock's turn. Like, I was addressing uh, everyone in the room. <laughs> right, so, it's their yeah. turn. They agree, and they make... They both move into the hallway behind some pillars so that they don't get shot at. Yeah. Um, uh, there are pillars lying the sides of the hallways, so you can all move into the hallway with cover, uh, theoretically. Um, well, I, I, the... Do I make it still? The Russians, or, like, who are still no. alive, are... Uh, you can't move to the doorway on your turn. You've used your move action and your action. Yeah, sure. So you're at the chest until next turn. Okay. Um, the Russians hear this as well. They start uh, panicking and wondering what's going on. Um, Dr. Zhang has lost his smirk and is now frowning. All right. Frowny, frowny Jing. Germans shoot some people. Um, all right. Shoot, 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 Ooh. shoot. Uh, no one, none of you have to worry. Uh, some NPCs get shot at. None of them get shot. Uh, Apollo. Graham. Apollo. Graham. Graham. Wakey, wakey. Sorry, my, my, my microphone was off. Okay. All right, it's your turn, Apollo. Um, yeah, um, have they pretty much set up like a kill box down the hallway? Like they're just kind of sitting there waiting? No, most they, of the Germans are leaving up the stairs. One German has sort of peeled off and is hiding behind a pillar to lay down covering fire. I mean, they're firing as they go, but they're not... They haven't set up a thing. I will um, advance as much as towards the German as as much away from the bottom. Okay. Do you want to double move or move and attack? If I move and attack, well, I, make it, well, I won't make it. You'll definitely make it to a pillar in the hallway, um, but you can make it uh, halfway down the hallway as opposed to just in the entrance of the hallway with a double move. I'll double move. All right, you can double move behind a pillar. Um, you will get shot at, uh, but uh, it'll be at a point when you do have plus two to defense. Uh, that'll be three successes against you. Mm, so you got to roll seven. No, eight. Successes. How, how about three? <laughs> <laughs> I will take your three, good sir. Um, and you will not get hurt. It'll just <clears throat> ping right into the pillar just as you get behind the pillar. Um, pillar and okay. then it'll be Archie's turn. 
All right, I'm going to do a uh, full move, full on sprint as far as I can go and try to end up behind a pillar in the hallway. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. So you sure. want to do double move is essentially? Yeah. Well, so. you were um, in the exact same spot as Apollo was, so you can get mm -hmm. to, well, uh, on the other side. Um, yeah. So you can get to the, basically the opposing pillar. Um, okay. You hey, will Apollo, not actually get shot at because uh, essentially your actions happen at the same time. They pick Apollo and not you because he goes cool. a little bit first. So they shoot at him yeah. and you get to go to that pillar unharmed. All right. Sweet. So you're both like three-fourths of the way down the hallway um, with the guy who's stayed behind and is behind a pillar um, like two pillars away, so to speak. Um, mm-hmm. And with the conclusion of your turn, it is now the uh, alluring German female's turn. Let's just call her Black Betty from now on. Oh, Black Bam Betty. Bam, bam, bam. Amber Lance. Nazi gold. Um, anyway. <laughs> Black Betty had a child. Bam, bam, That thing went wild. Bam, bam. She starts saying, you know, Octone, Octone, Chanel, Chanel at the top of the, um, uh, staircase and Apollo and Arch you guys hear a motorboat I didn't know and then a bunch of heavy gunfire too uh, uh, from from that uh, sort of internal dock that the tea house had okay yep you hear a bunch of okay. splintering wood um, as uh, the Nazis uh, apparently advance on that location and it is now uh, Rex's turn. I hightail it <laughs> out of that room. Double move? Uh, yep, but I will also do the whole add to my defense thing. Okay. Yeah, works for me. Mm -hmm. uh, you will get shot at. Cool. It's four successes. You have uh, your boosted defense but not anything more than that six successes good enough mm -hmm. it misses uh can i take a shot back at him just when I get to my defense my... double moved i uh, double moved yeah sure that's fine yep so <laughs> i can that. move a total of what was it six now what is my move my move is yeah, so so six. yeah so let me clarify you were inside the room at the chest yep uh and you're slightly hobbled yep. uh you will, with a double move, be able to get to the pillar that is immediately outside the door in okay. the hallway. Yeah. As opposed to them, where they were at the door and made it all the way, like three fourths. The what way are down the, the Russians and whatnot doing? Are they like, is it is the exit to this room congested now? Like, how is that working? They were at the back of the room, so they're now actually sort of moving up. Uh, with their guns drawn, they're sort of confused. They don't know what's going on. None of them noticed necessarily that the trunk has a bomb in it. You just sort of said, hey, we need to leave. Um, <laughs> this brings back memories of how I blew up a building the first time I played D&D. <laughs> I didn't tell anyone about it. <laughs> All right, yeah, go on. It was literally like you everyone was like... Back into the... <laughs> you are looking back to observe the Russians. Uh, if I, if I made it out of the room, yes, I'll I'll see what they're doing. You'll see Doctor Zhang whispering to one of his attendants about something, and then he'll leave his box uh, from some doorway that's up there. Is the is the exit to the box like in the room? It well, it's it's in the box, so he doesn't come down into the room at all. Oh, okay, good. Like, yeah. you know, he's you know, you, you don't do that with a royal box. The royal box doesn't have a. Fucking staircase that goes out from the. From I don't the know, thing. man. I mean, it's an underground uh, fucking gambling underwater. den, as far as I'm concerned. That is probably what it usually is. Yeah, uh, so I assumed that they would have like a VIP staircase within the room. Like, that's why I assumed that it was there, so. No, if you have a VIP staircase, it's, you know, it's hidden so that they can come in without being seen. Mm, um, all right. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, he departs the room. If, if the Russians aren't getting a move on, I'll sort of lean back maybe in the door and do like you know make make a frantic sort of hand waving motion at them if they don't understand what i'm saying so and then i'll move, mosey on out of the doorway if i can yeah most of the group of germans no longer has sights on you guys so they're not firing mm -hmm. um 
Benny and Haddock's turn occurs, they move up to the pillars uh, that are just in front of uh, Apollo and um, Archie. They get shot at by one of them. gets shot at by the German, but it's only one success. And they roll their defense because they would have to fail completely. To s- and no, they're fine. Um, so it is now Apollo's turn. Still a guy down here? Yep. He's behind that pillar. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, he got left behind, I'll, literally. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll run and attack him. You'll run? Well, yep. can I do you that? Can again? Yeah, I can still run. make it, right? Yeah, you I'm going to. I'm going to. And punch him. I'm going to charge knockout blow. Okay. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. Damn, Apollo Stingray. His cover doesn't count because you move past his cover to punch him. And I'm actually going to consider him slightly caught off guard. Screaming Brit comes at you fist bared. I'd be caught off guard too. In a suit. I would say that he's more caught off guard by the fact that a man in a monocle is punching him. Oh yeah, you were in a monocle. I I forgot. Caught off guard. All right, you get two successes over him um, which means mm-hmm. that your knockout blow uh, now how exactly does knockout blow work again now remember, now remember it's plus one so it's three damage it's three and non-lethal I've more than, and if I deal more than twice his stun rating whatever that is so if his stun rating was one I knocked him out alright it's not one it's uh, it's two so um, if I inflict more damage than the stun rating the victim is stunned one round per success, so he's stunned one round. Yep. Um, so, he uh, falls back onto the ground, sort of dazed. Uh, his tooth, you know, clatters along the hallway. Come on! I, you know, do a big sweeping arm motion down the hallway saying, everybody come on. All right. Am I up? Yeah, you're up. Are they Nazis still going up the stairs, or are they completely done with the stairs by now? They're already, they've crested the stairs, which is why they're not firing at you. You hear the motor boat still. Motor boat. Yeah. All right. Um, if I do a move, can I go up past the stairs and still shoot? Uh, a single move, move from where you are would get you halfway up the stairs, which is not enough to shoot over the top of it. A double move would get you all the way up to where the Germans are, but you would no longer have an action to attack. Yeah. Hmm. It also, there is also a stunned German still conscious at the feet of uh, this British guy. Um, I'm going to, actually, you know what? I'm going to move and I'm going to, cl- I'm going to clock him with the butt of my rifle. Hell yeah, do bro. Do a melee attack. I want someone we can interrogate. All so, right, so roll me melee then. Yeah, hang on. My melee is... Six. So it's not brawl, by the way, because those are two different. No, things. it's it's straight on melee attack. So yeah. Yep. I don't, I don't really have much in the way of brawl. Sixty-two. Carrot. Two. Balls. Well, he only has his passive defense right now, so, so. he'd be very unlikely to. I mean, it's technically possible for him. To I have do every it. single roll I've had. I've gotten one less than the. Uh, and 50%, so... Right? Mm-hmm. All right. You do enough non-lethal damage that this guy is now unconscious. Yeah, yeah he boy. takes a full on two neutral damage over and above whatever else. I guess so it's just two neutral, so... All right. He drops his gun, and in his other hand, his offhand, he, uh, a grenade rolls out of it, but it hasn't been triggered. Mm. Ooh! Oh! Okay, can I... Uh, can I scoop up that grenade, or is my turn already done? It turns over. Oh, shit. I want to check a grenade or a boat. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> you you, you moved before me anyway, so... We're, what, so what, would you, what, what, what would you do to throw? Is it just strength? Uh, I believe, actually, you roll athletics to throw. Yeah. Yeah, I got seven athletics. Let me do it. Meta right. gaming. <laughs> Don't fuck off. Not that big of a deal. Um, yeah. Kitty, shut up. All right. Um... Should we, are we, hour, we should be doing an hour break, actually, here. 
Uh, by Perfect. my watch, we still got like uh, five minutes left or something. Five minutes is fine. Seven we'll take minutes, three minutes actually. Yeah. Here. Um, and then we'll start again where we'll conclude this combat scenario with our final hour of Hex. All right. Hollow Earth. Well, uh, you heard the man. 40 minutes. We're gonna... For today. Forever. Unless, you know, the world ends. You never know. <laughs> don't, don't end the All right, world. So we'll be back in, um, yeah, three minutes or so and we'll continue with the last hour of Die Party. See you then.